What's up? Um, I'm a kid who shouldn't be here, but I am. My name is Jaden, and this is Sound Advice. I'm in Austin because I got arrested here and I just missed it so much. No, I'm just kidding. I'm here for uh, South by Southwest and I got to speak on a panel today about brands and brand management. Two things would probably be, um, you always want the brand to be bigger than you. You know what I mean? And when you're starting something out, you have to believe in, in what you believe in before there's even anything to believe in. You know, so when I, when I was starting out, I told people I was a rock star. Uh, and they'd be like, do you have any songs? And I was like, no. And I just believed in myself so much. I think manifestation is a real thing. That's just my take on business is uh, energy is more important than the actual tangible matter sometimes. So anybody that wants to do something cool in their life, surround yourself with people that believe in you just as much as you believe in yourself. And also people that know more than you have wisdom. You know, it's, it's, there's a uh, wisdom in the council of many. So um, I definitely have a great team around me um, and they, they've kept me locked in even when I, I've swayed off and, and had my moments, which everyone does. So I have a manager named Steve. He's, he's genuinely a genius um, on the management side. I also have a manager, Shannon, who's been there from the beginning. And I think that's very important. You know, someone that's been with you from the start. Um, also more than that, my best friend, my roommate, Quentin, you know, we, we spend a lot of time listening to music together. I think that's probably one of the most important factors of my career and same with my relationship with like Kells, MGK, and even other artists like Dom, Youngblood, um, just having real connection with them, talking about music where it lives for us and being inspired by each other. Um, I think you come in a lot of different forms for a lot of different people. Um, but you'll know when you're with your right group, you know, you can feel it. People that support you no matter what. Oh man, it's a tough one. I think that I have a hard time be not being inspired by everything that I see because I'm fucking ADHD as shit. So um, honestly, I, I, I try to let my inspiration come organically. It could come from anything. I don't think it's any one specific um, person or band or, or influence. I just like, when I feel it, I run with it. I'm a gut feeling type of person. So, um, but overall music is just incredibly inspiring. I think it's therapeutic for people. So I find a lot of my inspiration from other artists' music, you know? The last thing that inspired me, so my, my good friends, um, they're in a band called Beauty School Dropout, and they made this song, and we love showing each other our music. And I always say, when you hear a song and you're jealous of it, that's when it's a really good song. And they showed me a song that they made, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to make this song. You know, I have to join this vibe. So that was probably, that was like three days ago. And that shit fucked me up, I'm not gonna lie. Because I was like, why didn't I make this song? You know, that was what I was thinking in my head. So I love moments like that. It always puts you on a cool, like new inspirational path. I think Travis does a great job of not letting other people influence who he is. You know, at being a kid and being in the industry, I've, I've really struggled with identity. You know, it's a really tough thing. Um, but you have to know yourself better than anyone else. And I've learned that I don't really know myself, but that's actually an advantage um, because I'm aware of it. Uh, Travis has taught me to be patient, you know? Um, are we in this for a lifelong journey or are we in this to, you know, have a hit right now? And I think we're both in it for a lifelong journey and I'm really grateful for the wisdom that he's passed on. I wouldn't be here without Travis, you know? This is a song I've had for like two years and uh, my fans really wanted it. And then my best friend passed away, so I ended up not putting it out. So. This is not only for my fans, but it's also an ode to my best friend, Cooper. Um, I'm excited. This one's just for the people that listen to my music, you know? I have a lot of cool new sounds coming after it, um, but my, I wanted to give my fans what they deserve. Yeah, absolutely. Album, June 28th, it's called When the Music Stops. I led with the uh, title track of my album because this album for me is a story. Um, from the time I put my first album out till now, it's been like three years. I've gone through a lot of shit a lot of feelings. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't make this album to blow up. I made this album um, to heal, you know, and, and to express my feelings, feelings that I feel like I can't express in other ways. Um, so I'm very excited about it. And the singles that I have leading up to the album, I think are some of the best songs I've ever made in my life. I think 
it depends on the song, but for this project, I wanted to be more vulnerable than I've ever been. Um, even the vernacular I use is much different from the first album, which I think is really cool. It took a lot to get there, like the evolution. Um, but yeah, I, I make feelings, you know, that's what my music is. I think I've, I've tried to go down the lane of like, oh, I want to make something cool or, and I definitely have fun music, but all of it is centered around truth and vulnerability. Um, so that's me, you know, if you need someone, um, who fucks up a lot and has fucked up a lot in his life to relate to, I, I, I really think I'm the perfect person because I, I just look back at my life and I'm like, damn, how did I get here? And if you feel the same way, we could get along great. In this past year, not giving up for sure. I wanted to give up. And for everybody who thinks that the journey is zero to 100, you know, that's just not the case a lot of the time. I, I had a lot of success, wonderful, awesome opportunities um, that happened really quickly. And then some personal stuff in my life. And then just a combination of like the stress that this industry puts on people, it fucked me up, you know, and I really almost gave up. I got to the point where I felt like I hit rock bottom. And so to be able to push past that, and keep going, that's what success feels like to me. I feel like I didn't give up, and that's all I could ask for. I, I genuinely think you have to love music so much that it makes other people uncomfortable, almost, you know? It will inspire a lot of people, but like my love for music runs so deep. I think it's more um, than just a physical connection to it. Like listening, it's a spiritual thing. And I know that's why I'm going to go far in this, in this industry because I love music and I'm, I'm never willing to forfeit that fact. You know, if all of this was taken away, if the cameras, if the labels, all that, I still have music, you know? So I think that's where you should start. If it's music or any other um, project that you're passionate about, anything creative, you got to love it more than you love anything else, you know? I think Chris Martin or Coldplay in general amazing collaborations. I don't know if they do a lot, you know, so that's really cool. Um, me and my girlfriend had a lot of connection to that, to that band. So that's really nice. And so, um, I don't know. It depends. Re I, I had answers before of people who are really talented, but if I'm being honest, I kind of want to collaborate with people that no one's looking for, you know, I think that's where cool moments happen. There's a lot of artists that have been around for a long time. I think I'm a artist of the new generation. And I want to bring other artists up with me. So it's probably not even the big names that people would think about. To me, it's the artists that no one really knows about. That's who I want to collaborate with a lot over this next two years. Because um, I want to make the difference, you know? I knew that, yeah, I knew it. I definitely felt something. I'm a big gut person. Um, I don't know if I said that already, but I trust my feelings. I trust my gut. And it was actually a perfect storm of, I always knew I was going to be something. And um, when I came out to LA and I was doing social media, all I could think about was music and it just worked so candidly. Like, yeah, I never got on social media to be on social media. I, I just saw the opportunity to get out of where I was and I took it. And uh, because I trusted myself and I trusted something that I didn't see, I just believed, you know, um, I think it worked out, you know what I mean? So yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I am very grateful for the distance I have from social media now. Um, just because it's cool for people to see me as like an artist, you know, because that's really what my goal has been since I came out here. Um, but I also have appreciation for what social media has done for me and I'm forever grateful for that, you know? That people have to understand you for it to work, you know? I don't think that's true at all. Um, I think everyone wants everything to make sense. But I'm a kid from Dallas, Texas, and then Tennessee, and um, who had no c relation to the industry or this world. And I should not have been able to come in and, and make the splash that I did. But I think that's exactly why it happened. So I honestly think the things that make sense usually aren't as good as people think. You know, if anyone's doubting you, that's the time. That's the time that you should absolutely go for it as if someone's telling you that you're not supposed to do it, you know?